Backlit mirror in the bathroom gives visually interesting effects. In visualization, this type of lighting is difficult to obtain. Let's solve this problem. My name is Monica from edac.org. Today I will show you how to create backlit mirror in SketchUp V-Ray. We can do this in different ways. This is our bathroom scene and I will focus on mirror backlighting. Let's get closer and see that here we have a circular mirror. I will open the group, so I double click on the model, then I select view, component edit, hide rest of model. So I only have a mirror in the scene. Now I will copy the mirror pane, I select the move tool, choose the starting point, hold down the left control on the keyboard, and the mirror plane has been copied. We have two planes, one next to the other. I would like this plane on the right side to be thicker. I will do this using the push-pull tool, and it's done. On the left side, there is a mirror plane, and on the right side, it will be a lighting plane. I want to change this plane. I go to the group editing mode, I click on the offset tool, click on the outer edge and drag inward. The back plane has been divided into two parts, the middle one and the outer one. With the middle plane selected, I select the push-pull tool and drag it to the edge on the left side to create a ring like this. This link will be located behind the mirror. It will be our source of light. Now that the ring is the same size as the mirror, I would like to scale it. So I click on the scale tool and I scale it to 0.95 horizontally. Now that there is a scaling value in the lower right corner and I will do the same in the vertical direction. I scale it to 0.95. We can see that the ring is smaller. I will move it so it will be more or less in the center. It's done. Note that previously the mirror was a group, therefore the copied element is also a group. If the element is a group or it's a component, we can convert it to a mesh light. Having selected the element that we want to change, I choose the icon called Convert to Mesh Light. I click on it, and now this object has changed. If I go to the Asset Editor, we can see that we have three mesh lights. Some lights belong to the ceiling lights, and to see which light is a mirror bag light, all I need to do is right-click on the mesh light and select objects in the scene. If the object is not highlighted, it means that this mesh light is not behind the mirror. Let's check the other one. I click on the mesh light one, select object in the scene, and as we can see, this mesh light is located behind the mirror. This is our light. I go to the scene one, and we can see that the backlit mirror is almost done. If you have a V-Ray 5, remember to turn on the light mix. I go back to the asset editor, then I click on create asset, render elements, and light mix. I already have this element turned on, we should always have a light mix turned on with V-Ray 5, but unfortunately with older versions, this function is not available. With the older versions, all settings related to the intensity or color of the light, we can change only in the asset editor. If we have V-Ray 5, then we can change it in post-production in the V-Ray frame buffer. Let's render and see the effect. Visualization is created and we can see that we have a mirror backlight. I will come closer and let's move on to the light mix on the right side. Due to the fact that the scene is too bright for now, the light behind the mirror is not strong enough. I will change the intensity of the light behind the camera. This is the main light source in the scene which I created before. It is set to 0.5. I will reduce it to 0.2 and after decreasing the intensity of mirror backlighting, it is more visible. The light behind the mirror, which we have just created, is mesh light 1.3. I 
I can increase its intensity to, for example, 3, and then the light looks much better. We can still change the color of the light to a more yellowish or orange. Notice what it looks like in the scene. I think that the scene is a bit too dark, so I will increase the light from behind the camera to 0.4, and the final effect looks much better. Now there is a rectangular mirror in our scene. We can create lighting in the same way as we did before by creating an object behind the mirror and converting it into mesh light. But this time I will use a rectangular light. I click on the rectangle light, then I create a very narrow plane on the wall and place it next to the mirror. I rotate it by 90 degrees. And now I need to copy that light and place it to every side of the mirror. We can see that we have four very narrow rectangle lights in the scene. I go to the asset editor and then change the settings of the light. We can change the color to more yellowish. I will set a very low intensity, something around 2 or 3 depending on the scene. We can see that the amount of light is very small. Let's render the scene. The visualization is done and the mirror is illuminated very slightly. This is because the scene is still very bright. So all I need to do is reduce the intensity of the main light behind the camera. And now the mirror backlighting is more visible. We can also increase the intensity of the mirror backlighting. All we have to do is increase its intensity in the light mix or in the asset editor window. After increasing the intensity, we can see that it looks much better. Remember that we can either create mirror backlighting using a mesh light or we can do it using a narrow rectangle lights. Now you can create your own lights in the bathroom. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Check out my website edac.org with even more SketchUp courses. See you soon. Bye.